Many aspects of modern Indian life are influenced by the old imperial ties. Its sporting loves, for example. Cricket is almost a religion. But it should also be remembered that Indian football has a lengthy heritage and has a huge following across the country. Wim Kuvermans is the new national team coach. What I've seen so far is that, that, that football is quite popular in, um, in, in India. I haven't been to uh, Calcutta, in the West Bengal area, where it is very popular. Uh, but you sense that um, football is quite, uh, quite popular in India. Yeah. I know cricket is a big game, but I think that football uh, is definitely uh, big as well. Doubt how far back the history goes? Well, this is the final of the 2012 Durand Cup. First competed for in 1888, it's reckoned to be the oldest tournament still played anywhere outside the British Isles. But while the competitions are long running, club routes can be shallow. This year, the final took place between Air India, a long-standing sporting institution, and Dodzal, a new company team from Mumbai, for whom this is the very first professional outing. This time, in front of an eager crowd, Air India were the winners after a penalty shootout. Kuvermans is at least taking charge of a national team that's slowly on the rise. Back in the 50s, they were Asian champions and Olympic semi-finalists. Last year, they appeared in the Asian Cup finals for the first time in a quarter of a century. But at least the Dutchman has some real skill at his disposal, such as 28-year-old captain and centre-forward Sunil Chetri. When I was young, there was nothing else because my mom used to play for Nepal team. She was in Nepal season before. My father used to love this game, so I think I had it in my genes. So there was only one game in my house. We used to watch a lot of football as a family. We used to play a lot. My mom used to be in the field. My dad was there. So for me, it was not a surprise to be hooked to this game. Chetri was the dominant figure on the domestic scene for many years and attracted the interest of a number of European clubs. A move to Queen's Park Rangers founded on work permit issues. But now he plays in the Portuguese second tier with Sporting Lisbon's B team. Sunil is, as you know, he's now playing in, in Europe, so for him that's a great experience. Uh, yeah, Sunil is a, is, a, is, a, is a very quick player, strong, he's a, he's a quick thinker, he's strong on the ball, even sometimes high balls, he's very good in shielding it. Uh, and he really has a, an eye for the goal. Kuvan's first opportunity to see his charges is in the Nehru Cup, an invitation tournament which has become an important part of the Indian calendar. Having won the last two editions, India faced Cameroon in the final, looking for a hat-trick. This is, for the players, a great experience to play against the Cameroon side from a different continent with different style of play to experience to play against uh, uh, top quality uh, players. Uh, I think you always learn from that. If you want to go higher on the list of, uh, of the FIFA ranking, I think that's the way, uh, the West, that's the way forward. Uh, because the international football, if you look at the various uh, continents and countries, also when you see the World Cup, and of course that's the very top, but the style of play is, is, is now played almost by everyone. Um, uh, so we have to go in that direction. That's very important and it's, they are not only different, but they are much, much higher in ranking. I mean, to start with, we are the lowest ranked team in this tournament, but I don't think that reflects our, our actual ranking. We are better than what we are as in the rankings. But it does help, you know, when, you know, there's they're a saying, when you are at some place and we want to grow up, you've got to play better teams than you. Now, Cameroon is a huge jump for us because they are 59 or 53 in the world, even though we can say that it's a B team, but still, you know, I mean, it's, we all know the A team and the B team of a country is almost the same. So I think it is a good jump for us, but we have to keep playing big teams, better teams than us, to, to make sure that we know what exactly is happening in the world and where we stand. Cameroon won a meaningless clash during the group stage, but in front of a 30,000 crowd in New Delhi, the hosts take an early lead in the final. Gurumangi Singh, the scorer. However, Cameroon strike back with goals either side of half-time. Their squad consists largely of players from the domestic league, yet they include a number of full internationals. But a killer third goal proves out of reach, and with less than 10 minutes left, Chetri gets away in the box. He brings 
the score's level. And after a goalless extra time, it's back to the spot for the decision. This time, India win. It's a good start, but now the real work begins. In India, we are we're very restless. We need uh, results very soon. You know, we bring a new coach. Why not winning the first match? Or why not winning the first tournament? It doesn't happen. You, know, you can bring the best of the uh, best of the coaches in the world. Everybody needs time. You got to give them a lot of time, a lot of you know support, have a stability, have the same coaching staff, so that they can train the kids and they can have a long plan. Number two, we got to stop criticizing each other. That, that, that's something we Indians are very famous of. You know, we've got to be patient, we've got to be encouraging because everybody wants the same thing to see India in a world football stage. Hi, congrats. Thank you, thank you so much.